In this video, we will review the major features of the project dashboard using the SaveSite Desktop Portal. To get started, log into the SaveSite Desktop Portal. Select the drop down menu to select a date range for the data presented on the dashboard. The SaveSite score quantifies your personnel's safety performance and engagement within the SaveSite app based on the consistency of how safety actions are completed and closed out by mobile users. To learn more about improving the SaveSite score, select How do I improve this? The incident type summary displays the total count of various incident types. This includes injuries, near misses, equipment failure, property damage, and theft, which are logged via the SafeSite mobile app or desktop portal. The action summary shows how well your personnel are completing weekly safety actions assigned through campaigns. The percentage represents how well the safety actions assigned through safety campaigns were met by all the members and project admin. To view details on each safety action type, including performance for individuals, click the View More links beneath each category. The Open Hazards and Incidents list displays all open hazards and incidents for the project. To access any listed hazard or incident, select View. Please note that incidents need to be managed on the SafeSite desktop by an admin after they are logged within the SafeSite mobile app to fully close out the report. The leaderboard ranks the top performing users according to how well they are meeting their assigned safety actions. If a dash is shown, it means there is no campaign that has been set up with specific actions on that project. If you would like to assign or edit safety actions within a campaign, select the Manage button. When a group is selected, the project dashboard is replaced with the group dashboard. To display information about projects in the selected group, please review the related videos and articles to learn more about the group dashboard.